What else can you do to heal faster? You can use your body, your mind and your spirit, using your body like exercise, using, uh, feeding your body, proper nutrition. You know, when, when we find out which specific supplements you need, those aren't a replacement, they're a supplement to a, a good diet. We have tools and resources at triunity.net, like for cooking your food. If you're cooking food, you shouldn't be oxidizing your food. And almost every type of cooking oxidizes, exposed to oxygen that's in the air. If you're cooking in air, you're oxidizing the food. If you're steaming, you're not oxidizing the food. But most steamers will have a bunch of water in the bottom. The steam goes up, runs over the food, it dissolves nutrients from the food, and they wind up in the water at the bottom. And, and you throw out the best nutrition. So you want to steam the food, but you don't want you want waterless steaming, just enough water to make the steam, not extra water. You, you want low temperature so that you're not, that hot steam is breaking down enzymes and B vitamins because of the heat. So you want low temperature steam. You want, you don't want to use oil. Uh, and so there's, there's special cookware that you'll find, this waterless type of cookware that works at low temperature, is very energy efficient, so even though it's an, it's, it's an investment in your health and, and quality of life, but it'll pay for itself just through savings on utilities alone over time, uh, let alone the, if you figured out how much you're wasting in the nutrients that are in your food when you cook it, it's, it's a tremendous help to your health and the value of your health, there, there's nothing that, that compares, you can't even really put it on a monetary basis. Well, sure, you know, if, if you get cancer, the average cost to treat in, in Western medicine is a you know, quarter million to over a million dollars. And, and, and that's so, most often the thing that winds up bankrupting people in our culture, uh, and typically uh, people who are just where they want to be able to retire and relax and enjoy life, and, and all of a sudden it's like the support systems are pulled out from you. If you, know, you run out of insurance coverage and run out of money. So improving support for the body, improving support uh, in the environment, like the quality of air that you breathe. You might not know that, that chlorine is a deadly gas and we're exposed to it every time you take a hot shower. If you're not showering in filtered water, you're showering in chlorine gas because there's small droplets with chlorine in it, and it comes out as a gas, and you breathe it in. It's the number one chlorine exposure that we have is through the lungs. So things like a simple, inexpensive water filter on the shower to remove that, ex that chlorine exposure. If your water has chloramines, you'll want a little slight upgrade from that to make sure you're taking those out, because those are very harsh on the skin, through the skin as well, and on the immune system. So we have these solutions available for you, and, and we'll work with you to help you understand the choices and which ones are going to be most helpful for you. Water, super important. The body, on a, on a conventional understanding, the number of molecules in the body are 90, over 99% water molecules. We now know that that's actually not how the water is organized in a healthy body. It's more like... it's it, it, tends toward where it almost becomes one molecule of water. Actually, uh, sheets of hexagonally structured water, the same as is in ice, but, but uh, offset, just like water makes this type of structured water when it's about to make ice. It does that in, in the body. I call it liquid crystal water. Uh, the researchers are calling it easy water because it's an exclusion zone where it, it literally pushes out waste and toxins and acidity. It's how the body really can get radiant health within and outside the cells. It's, uh, when this water coats the outside of your cell, a virus can't pass through it to attack your cell. So, so these environmental factors, uh, where you sleep, how you sleep, uh, you can, s our, we have these biological bodies, well, genetically we're made to be in contact with the earth. Bottom of your foot has electrical con conductivity connection to the earth, like every other animal has when they're on the earth or on a, on a plant. They're connected electronically to the earth, and the earth is negatively charged. The earth's ha earth has an electrical field that's, that's very, very powerful. It's, it's anywhere from a quarter million to over a million volts of, of electrical charge. 
and we live pretty much separated from that. We wear our rubber-soled shoes, and so we're, we're insulated from the earth. We're not grounded. If you take a walk barefoot on the beach here in Hawaii, then you're electrically grounded. If you take a shower uh, and, and plug the drain while you're showering and put a little bit of either sea salt or uh, Epsom salts uh, in, in that water to make it electrically conductive, now your body is grounded or earthed. Uh, you can get mattresses that have silver threads in them and that plug into a properly grounded outlet, and then you can get electrons from the earth. Now, in, what is an antioxidant? An antioxidant, by definition, is an electron donor. The earth is an antioxidant. You could say it's the biggest, our biggest antioxidant in the natural environment. We are isolated from it, but we can earth and ground ourselves to reconnect to that source of protection for our health.